Hi, I was cooking the other day and it got me thinking about um, the situation that we're in now. So I was making eggplant bertha and it's an Indian dish that's good with rice and naan and uh, I make it from time to time. There's two ways that I prepare the eggplant. The first way that I do this is the recipe way, the way that you're quote unquote supposed to do it. And that is that I wash the eggplant, I stick it a whole bunch of times with a fork to put all these holes in the skin. I cover it in vegetable oil and then I broil it in the oven. And it's good uh, to take out after 30 or 45 minutes it's done. And then I let it cool um, so I can do the next steps with it. Um, and I'll usually turn it once. Um, so that way I need, I need to keep track of the time and I need to look at it and check it and I pull it out when it's soft. The second way that I prepare this recipe is to wash the eggplant cover in vegetable oil, and then stick it into the broiler without sticking it. Now, when I do it this way, after 30 or 45 minutes, the eggplant explodes with this nice boom, and then I get bits of eggplant on the inside of my oven. So there are pros and cons. So if I do it according to the recipe, then I have a nice clean oven. I do have to keep track of the time because I need to pull it out when it's ready. I don't want to overcook it. Um, it's hard to overcook it if I have it explode because it's a nice reminder like, oh, hey, I got to take the eggplant out. Um, and then I have to cut it up and I have to pull out all the bits of the, the eggplant. If I don't put the fork holes in, and uh, hopefully you've figured out by now that the uh, fork holes are there to let the gases out, the moisture out, so that the eggplant does not explode. Um, if I don't put the, the holes in and it explodes, I don't have to cut it and I don't have to scoop out as much stuff because it's kind of put itself out onto the pan for me. Um, but yeah, then I get stuff on the inside of the oven. And I've noticed that I tend to feel like I have to take care of that right away. I have to go like scrape the, all that stuff off the oven. Um, and the oven's super hot, so I, it's, it's hard to do that without burning myself. Um, uh, another pro and con to between the two um, if uh, I forget to put the holes in, then that's fun for my kids because there's an explosion in the kitchen and explosions are fun. If I forget, um, then that's not so much fun for my wife because explosions are also not fun. Um, so when that boom happens, I have some context and I can go, oh yeah, I forgot to put the holes in, that's the eggplant. If the boom happens, uh, for my wife, she didn't forget to put holes in the eggplant. There's just an explosion in the kitchen. And so um, that adds to her anxiety in a way that I don't want to contribute to. So there's, there's ups and downs. Uh, I would say um, if I'm going to forget, one of the things that I could do to make it less hazardous for me is I could leave the bits of eggplant on the oven and wait till it cools and then clean it up. And then I'm less likely to hurt myself. And so in that way I could do, maybe that's not the healthiest thing, but it's a less unhealthy thing that I could do. Um, so anyway, uh, I would recommend uh, making eggplant bertha. I'll put the recipe up for people to find if they want. I feel like this was connected to some larger message, but I can't think of what it was now. Um, cacophony, doesn't sound right. Uh, tautology, that's just saying what things are. It's probably dramatic irony. Anyway, take care, make things, and uh, I'll see you later.